Hola, hola! Welcome to Learn Spanish World. Today we have a very special episode, a new lesson, and this lesson will be talking about Argentinismos. So pretty much, today we're going to learn about the 10 most common words in Argentinian Spanish. Are you ready to learn a bit of Argentinian? Argentina is one of the most beautiful Spanish countries. Buenos Aires, Argentina is the capital of this huge country in South America. Número uno. Number one. Are you ready for your first Argentinian word? Che. Hey, che, viste? Che means friend, mate. It can also be used to show shock or to call the attention of someone. Hey, che. Che. Perfecto. Continuemos. Número dos. Number two. Let's continue learning Argentinian Spanish. Boludo. Boludo means stupid, idiot someone lacking intelligence. However, it can also be used in a friendly manner with a friend you feel very close. Example, I'm telling you, listen to me, boludo. Número tres. Number three. Che. Let's continue, che. Romperla. Romperla in Argentinian Spanish means it refers to when something goes really well. Romperla, che. When something goes really well, Argentinians use the expression romperla. Número cuatro. Number four. Número cuatro, che. Eh, pibe. Pibe. The word pibe is of Italian origin. It simply means kid, boy, youth. Eh, pibe. Vení aquí. Come here, pibe. Número cinco. Number five. Let's continue learning about Argentinian Spanish. Chamuyo. Chamuyo. Chamuyo, an excuse, a lie to get away with something or to avoid a situation. Chamuyo, I gotta come up with a chamuyo. So that's an excuse or even a lie. Número seis. Number six. Let's see what's número seis. Boliche. Bo Boliche. Boliche is simply a nightclub, a disco. So if you want to go dancing, you'd be heading to the Boliche. Número siete. Number seven. Let's continue, che. Chabón. Chabón means a man or a boy. Chabón. So we've been learning a lot of new Argentinian words. These words are very useful, particularly if you travel to Argentina. Número ocho. Number eight. Remember, these words are very popular in Argentina. Zarpado. Zarpado. Something special, extraordinary. It may be something good, but it may be also something bad. Zarpado. Repite. Zarpado. Número nueve. Number nine. Come on, Che. You can do it. Eh, viste. The word viste is very common in Argentina. It's actually a pet word. It means, you know, and it usually is added at the end of sentences to add emphasis. 
¿Viste? Número 10. Number 10. ¿Viste, pibe? Número 10. Trucho. Trucho means something or someone false or fake. Oh, ¿viste? That Elvis Presley is trucho. It's not the real Elvis. Trucho. Trucho. Número 10. Number 10. Be careful. This word. Do not use the word coger, which means pick up something in Spanish. But in Argentina, this word means to have sex in a Volga mena. Do not say it. Warning. Very good. We up to section number two. Typical expressions in Argentinian Spanish. Argentinian, argentino, pibe. A very popular expression is Me estás cargando. Are you serious about what you're telling me? Me estás cargando, che. Me estás cargando. Me estás cargando means Are you serious about what you're saying to me? Another popular expression is Eres chanta, but in Argentina they would say Vos eres un chanta, you're a liar. Chanta, chanta. Chanta means liar in Argentinian. Ya fue. It indicates that one cannot go back. No need to cry over spilled milk. Ya fue. Ya fue, pibe. Ya fue, che. You can't go back. Ya fue. Excelente. Let's continue. Holanda, che. Holanda, che. That means, hello, friend. Holanda literally means the country of Holland. However, in Argentinian slang Spanish, it can also mean, hello. Holanda, che. Siguiente, next one. ¿Qué talco? How are you? ¿Qué talco? It derives from the expression ¿Qué tal? ¿Co? ¿Qué talco, che? How are you? How's it going? ¿Qué talco? Le cantó la posta. That means telling the truth bluntly. Che, le cantó la posta. He told him the truth bluntly. Le cantó la posta. Very good. Let's keep going. We're almost there. Me gusta la campera. I like the jacket. La campera in Argentina and Spanish means the jacket. Necesito guita. I need money. Guita in Argentina means money. Che, necesito guita. Might. I need some money. Very good. Let's continue with some of the most popular expressions. Eh, modo diablo. Modo diablo. It's a word mainly used by Argentinian millennials, the young people. It refers to someone who's got a lot of energy or someone who has a huge desire to do something. Modo Diablo. Next one. Que quilombo. What a problem. Que quilombo. What a pain. Or even, que quilombo. What a mess. This is a very strong Argentinian expression. Que quilombo. Che, vamos a tomar unas birras. Let's go and drink some beers. Birras means beers. Birras means beers in Argentinian slang Spanish. Tomar el bondi. To catch the bus. El bondi literally means the bus in Argentina. 
So if you ever hear somebody that is in a hurry to catch the Bondi, they're talking about catching the bus. Que zarpado. When someone says something really tactless, you'd say that he or she is zarpado or zarpada. But it can also be used to express that something is really good. For example, this car is amazing. An Argentina may add, si, sí, muy zarpado. Que rata que sos. Someone who is very tight with money. You are so cheap. Que rata que sos, che. Que rata que sos. And yes, you guessed it right, rata means rat. Estoy al horno. I'm toast. I'm stuffed. Estoy al horno in Argentinian Spanish is a strong expression meaning I'm toast. I'm stuffed. So don't be surprised if you hear this expression. Horno literally means oven. Que quilombo. Once again, let's revise this expression. What a mess. What with more intensity. If you hear this word, que quilombo, that is a very intense sentence, meaning what a mess, what a pain in the neck. Once again, let's revise. Vamos a tomar unas birras. Let's go to drink some beers. Did you remember that one? Birras in Argentina refers to beers. Birras refers to beers, don't forget. No seas ortiva. Don't get cold feet. Don't be such a bore. So if you hear this expression, no seas ortiva, somebody is actually asking you not to get cold feet. Ortiva. Che boludo. These two words together are very common. A friendly insult used among friends mainly to call the attention of the other person. Among friends, it loses its negative connotation and it turns into a pet words. It's a friendly insult. Che, boludo. Camilla, boludo. Safamos. We got away just. So if you hear this expression, safamos. We got away just. Maybe somebody was speeding and just realized there was a police car not too far and managed to slow down on time. Safamos. Mira vos. This sentence expresses surprise. If somebody tells you something, if somebody tells you something a bit shocking or surprising, you go, Mira vos. Mira vos. And notice the emphasis. It's not mira, it's mira. Mira vos. Very good, my dear friends. That was the video for today. Please subscribe. I upload videos every Friday. And today, we had a fantastic time learning about this beautiful Spanish from Argentina. Please subscribe, in that way you will help me to continue producing more videos for you. And I got a few surprises for you in the near future. Muy bien, my dear amigos, it's been a real pleasure. Take care and I'll see you soon. Adios!